What's up, peeps? Um. Oh, we got an another double header. No story in this one. However, the story in the next one's a long one. Um. So here's my current situation. Uh. I've, yeah. <laughs> PS3 on the fritz. 360 on the fritz. Red Ring of Death. So I went out today and I got myself uh, the tools I needed, and I'm actually going to try uh, repairing the 360 myself. Uh, my to be told, I've actually well underway, and I have a dismantled 360 sitting on my desk right now as I speak, right next to me. Uh, uh, let me if, if you haven't tried this yourself, this thing is a bitch to open. <laughs> Make me. Make no mistake about that. And it requires the weirdest looking screws I've, uh, a screwdriver head I've ever, that I've never seen before. It's called a, a T9 or T7, something, T something, uh, for the right size. So I had to go to, uh, I, I spent like a few hours on YouTube looking at, uh, fix your own 360s, uh, videos and stuff like that, and I looked for the ones that had the, that were the most credible, had the most likes and stuff like that, and people said it worked. So, I'm gonna try it out for myself. Basically, if you don't know, the Red Ring of Death is caused by um, usually heating issues where uh, the 360 doesn't cool itself properly, and it warps uh, so, so like the chips or the motherboard or something like that. I'm not quite certain. So, I have to open it up, and I have to get to the motherboard requires multiple steps. It takes a long fucking time. And basically, uh, they said, mm, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to look at the video again. Uh, I'm still in the process of doing it, but I wanted to put a video out before I continued that. I, uh, I saw one method that I'm actually going to try, where uh, you you take these, you take pennies actually, because uh, copper is a good uh, insulator for heat um, to absorb the heat from the chips. Uh, you wrap them in electrical tape so they don't conduct electricity, and you need a very special adhesive, uh, a thermal resistant kind of adhesive. I got. Here we go. Um, at first, I went to Lowe's, and I, just based on the description, I got a silicone based um, adhesive, but I don't know if it's made specifically for this or not. So I decided to look into it more, and I went to Radio Shack, and they had. You know, I actually, I, I got through most of the 360 before I found a screw head I just did not have. So I went to Radio Shack, got a screw kit, um, electrical, you know, appliance screw kit that has many of the small screws that you wouldn't find in a hardware store, really. Oh, you, or you might, but, uh, you know, I, I was told Radio Shack would have it. Um, so I got that, and I got this uh, thermal compound. It's actually made... It's 99.9% .9 pure silver. So that's pretty cool. Um, it increases thermal conductivity between modern high-power CPUs and high-performance heat sinks or water cooling solutions. So, uh, you know, the proper... Uh, this reputable site said, um, you know, buy a replacement heat sink. Uh, this place is just two pennies wrapped in um, electrical tape, and then you put a very little bit of this ad adhesive onto the chips um, you screw it back on, and you do what's called the towel trick, where you just, um, you wrap the system in towels so it can't cool, which kind of resets the heating signature or something. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not an engineering geek. <laughs> My major was in sociology. Uh, so, you know, if this doesn't work out, then, uh... Well, I mean, my warranty was already voided. I mean, you void the warranty by opening this thing, but it was going to be too exp uh, it, the, the system is like four years old. So, um, I don't know if, if I try this and it doesn't work, then that probably means I have to buy a new one as opposed to sending it in. And, you know, it's just fine. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try it out, but... Um, by tomorrow, when I make my next video, I should be done testing this method, and I'll let you guys know if it worked or not, and whether or not I would recommend it, because I believe the failure rate for the 360 is like, or like the older models at least was like 
33% or so. Uh, you know, that's high. <laughs> that's very high. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and, you know, some people are saying... You know, I you know, I was saying how I didn't have money. I well, you know, I have money saved up for my for my jobs, but you know, I, I'm not working a job now. And uh, you know, you know, some people are asking, well, how come you don't have a job? And you know, I have to ask, um, not to be rude or anything, but I, I question how old some of the people are that's asking me this, simply because uh, if if you're not if you haven't tried to find a job in this market, you don't know how difficult it is. I've, um, I've been working jobs ever since I was 16. I've had, like, a total of eight different jobs over my lifetime for about, going back about nine years now. So, I know how to get jobs. I've worked many different kinds of jobs. Um, but, you know, that was during a much better economy. And where I was only searching for part-time. Uh, I graduated back in 2008 with a degree in sociology. And I still have yet to actually use find, get a job that uses that um, degree. There, you can't really use that degree that much. But my point is, um, if you if you aren't aware of the current economic situation, uh, do do some reading. Um, entry level hiring is at an all time low. Uh, people graduating college cannot get jobs. More people are graduating with. Um, uh, back in with Bachelor of Arts degrees, which do which doesn't do much. Less people are graduating in sciences and in maths and stuff like, or in engineering and stuff like that. And even people that are much better qualified than me. And I've been and I've talked to some people that are are, are in my situation. And you know there are some people out of grad school that are that are having trouble getting a job. People aren't hiring. The the economic situation is. Horrible, and that's why you have groups like Occupy Wall Street, um, you know, vocalizing their um, complaints about uh, about the situation. You know, it, it's not, you know, a lot of it. A, lo a lot of the problem is bought politicians that are making it harder. F uh, you know, they're just making the middle class shrink. But you know, I don't want to get. In, I don't want to get into the whole that a whole lot, but. My point is, um, I, I don't want it to sound like I'm lazy or anything like that. I've been trying to get a job for months, ever since I came back in March, but, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm not settling, I, you know, I, I, I'm, at, I'm, having, I'm even having trouble finding a job as a, a server somewhere, uh, because all, because all the other people, I live in New Jersey, it's a very densely populated state, so there's a lot of competition in my area. So even the people, the other people my age in my position are also working part-time jobs, as opposed to working, you know, full-time with their degree or in entry-level positions. So, you know, it's 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 just not that easy. Uh, so what I try to do is because I apply to jobs every day. I've sent my resume out hundreds of times. Um, so what I do, what I do instead, I. I make these videos in my downtime, and I'm practicing this. I'm practicing After Effects, and I'm practicing Photoshop. You know, trying to improve my skills because maybe I can get a job doing that someday. You know, there there really isn't anything to do at this point but to uh, improve your abilities and broaden your resume. Or I, I'm also looking at master programs right now, possibly for education maybe in business something like that uh, the point is if you can't get a job then you need more school you need more education you need more skills so that's what I'm gonna try to work on um, but enough about that uh, I'll let the story go then I'll start talking about the game again so sorry to bore you guys This must be the reactor core. Now, how should we go about this? Please, don't do anything! You haven't filed the necessary forms with the Office of Shenanigans to be so reckless! You're the ones who are being reckless here! 
We have to stop this thing! We're working on that right now. We're making sure the reactor core holds up until the black hole is created. Wait, are you guys trying to create the black hole? Yes, it's our duty to destroy the humans. What about recycling the planet? A black hole will destroy Earth. Who knows, we're just following the orders that were given to us. The Supreme Conference would rather destroy the humans at any cost than try to preserve Earth. Well, I can't stand to see our worlds get destroyed by their stupid faces. Let's go, everyone! We'll keep destroying stuff until the reactor core is silenced! Okay, back to this Gaia talk. Um, it's been brought to my attention I never went over the Nakamata, so I will happily go over that very shortly. Oh, where did I put that guy? <laughs> I just realized my desk that I read this from has a 360, uh, dismantled 360 as opposed to the player's guy. There it is. Okay. Um, by the way, that last chapter, uh, 9-2, I believe, uh, if you go back in there, there will be, like, a r two rows of ten mushrooms. And if you go into the assembly and you pass one strength, uh, make enemies stronger's bill, uh, those shrooms will be level 99. And they will also be experience blocks to increase the experience and mana gain. And there's a kind of, um, due to the way the experience, um, gain in this game works, and it's actually been like this for a few games, so I don't think it's a glitch. But uh, level 99 enemies give out, um, due, due to some sort of mathematic formula, give out experience equal to destroying enemies of about the mid 300s. So if you want to begin power leveling, this is a great level uh, place to do it until you uh, are able to take on that ordeals for. Uh, if you make a giant Desko, her last ability, Yog Soth, uh, Yog, Yog Sothoth, I believe, Yog Sothoth, something. Um, the area of effect is big enough that it can kill all the shrooms in one hit. So you can level up Desko and one other monster crazy fast, and you can level up a few other characters as well, just not as well. Um, so that so that's a good place. Anyway, uh, time. Let's do the Nekomata! Nope. Nope. Here I go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Or the feline. The feline? F L F E L Y M N. Alright. Uh felines don't have especially good attack skills, especially during their early levels. For melee attack class, that seems to be a handicap. Don't let it be! These girls make far better use of normal attacks than many other classes. Felines counter extremely well, so getting into long chains of normal attacks can lead to high damage. Here I go. Give your girls good weapons for direct damage and get them in close to the chosen target. Not only does a counter war give your feline time to do real damage, this is also a way to exhaust an enemy's counter attacks when they'll do, a, uh, do the least good. If you have other characters that want to use normal attacks, let the feline go first and have the other fo people follow up so they won't deal with counter hits. Um, the feline's ability is special counter. Where counter attack, the counter attacks when even hit by special moves, but only at point blank range within the counter range. Uh, they match a change into a fist and they move five spaces. Yay! I love you. Um, they are 25% weak to fire and ice, and they are 50% resistant to wind. The Nekomata, the base class, has HP aptitude of 100, SP 90, attack 110, defense 90, intelligence 70, resistance 70, hit 100, and speed 110. Uh, so overall, pretty mediocre. A little lackluster, even. Uh, then we have the Pow Mau, the Tail Ring, the Cat Palug, no, Kath Palug? What? I, I don't get it. Uh, the Ovenig, and the Bastet. Okay. Uh, HP Aptitude is 120, SP 100, Attack 130, 
Defense 100, Intelligence 80, Resistance 80, Hit 110, and Speed 130. Uh, so, kind of mediocre as far as that goes. Um, let's see, uh, Special Counter as it went over. The next one is Cross Counter, uh, which increases counterattack damage by 50% when being attacked from the front. Uh, might as well learn it. You know, 50% increase is pretty good, uh, especially with how much you'll be getting countered. Uh, ambush, afterwards, increases attack by 20% by the number of turns out of the base panel. Damn. Uh, so, you could just take your time and really increase your attack with this. That's actually really good. Um, what's, how, what's the maximum it can go up by? I couldn't tell you. I haven't practiced with it. I would wager uh, it's probably a maximum of 100. That's my guess. Uh, but still, you know, just wait five turns and have your attack double. Pretty damn nice. And finally, team formation, which doubles the damage when joining in a team attack. Cool. Alrighty. As for the class skills, we have Feline Gust. The attack power is E, it's a point blank melee attack, and it knocks the enemy back like three or four spaces or so, I can't remember. Um, it's one of those cool hits that does many, many hits, and you see the smaller damages. Those are my favorites. Um, then we have Kitty Brain Blast, which I don't quite understand why it's called that. I don't see anything involving the brain in there. Uh, it, the power is E as well, which is unfortunate. Um, it hits all adjacent enemies, but it also has a knockback feature where it will knock the enemy back as far as they will go. Um, but it, but there are no yellow squares to this attack, so that's kind of interesting. A few fist skills have that ability as well. And then we have catch strike, which is just um, hits the three enemies in front of you in a straight line. The power is D. Um, the only really option for hitting multiple targets. Uh, it's kind of mediocre. And then finally, Boxer Kitty, your attack of choice. Why? Well, for one, the power is S. Super power. Does it? Um, it can even cause paralysis for whatever reason. It hits a single target, and it can hit up to three tiles away. Crazy good attack. You'll be doing lots of damage with that. Um, she magic changes into a fist. Um, they're both single target attacks, unfortunately. Uh, flaring Kitty Shot does... Uh, point Blank, and it knocks the enemy back as well. Uh, Power is E, pretty crappy. Do the next one instead, Grand Slam. Power is S, super! Um, it attacks two spaces away, and it also knocks the enemy back an additional two spaces away. So if you're gonna match the change to a fist, that'll be the attack of your, that'll be your attack of choice. Uh, the main reason you want to make a feline, though, or capture one, is because um, the feline, outside of the Magic Beast, is one of the only two monster classes that become a fist, and you need a giant fist if you want to do a uh, giant Big Bang, which is the only skill that can clear all of ca uh, Mount Ordeals in one turn. And wow, that came up really quick. Alright, that's it for that. Thanks for watching. core has been destroyed! Have we stopped the black hole too? Um, I'm not sure. We're no rocket scientists. I wish we had a bookworm type character on our team for times like this. I'm good with battle schemes and conspiracies, but when it comes to science... Please, God, or Lady Archangel, Please, save the world! Good job, guys. Nemo! Looks like the supergravitational field that was created by the reactor core is gone now. Then, we did it! I have no idea what that meant, but we did it, right? Yes! The creation of the black hole has successfully been stopped! Now what, Nemo? We saved the world!
No, oh, no, little boy. It's too soon for that. <laughs> I knew it. What do you have up your sleeve now? You've got something else? What's next? Well, well, it seems the moon is going to fall to Earth. Nonsense! That's impossible! It is, isn't it? But you're wrong. When you combine alien technology with demonic powers, anything is possible. The moon is already on a collision course with Earth. There are no devices involved this time. The only way to stop the moon now is to use all your strength to push it away. The moon... will fall? Crash! Bang! Boom! It's the end of Earth. What the... Who are you? Desko, we have to push! Yes, big sis! Here we go! Are you really that stupid? How would doing that push the moon away? What are we supposed to... It's simple. Give up already. Just sit back and watch the moon fall onto the face of the Earth. Never! I made a promise. To save the moon and Earth! Then what are you gonna do? Go ahead, give it a try. Stop the moon from falling. Look at you. Sad, pathetic demons. You can't even fulfill your own duties. You're useless. I... My lord! Give up and enjoy the taste of despair. I hope the moon, earth, netherworld, and everything else disappear. What can I do? Isn't there anything I can do other than watch the moon fall? I haven't completed what I must for my lord yet. I placed all of my vows on the moon, but now I can only watch it fall! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Fenric. Is praying the only thing left for us to do? Praying? What will praying do? What will it change? What kind of help will that be? Hey, why is the ground shaking? This glow. <laughs> this is the power of love embracing the moon. More precisely, it's the love field effect. Well, I just came up with the name right now, but... Huh? Who is she? Lady Archangel? Archangel? This lass? Yes! She is Lady Flan, the Archangel, the person whom I respect the most. What, what the hell is going on? What's this light doing here? Valvatoris, are you doing this? <laughs> Don't be totally surprised yet! Huh? What is that thing? To protect the beautiful blue earth, it comes from another dimension. The unstoppable power of love and prayer. Super Alloy! Great! Flanzor X! This 
isn't the time to be fooling around! The moon is falling, people! I am being super serious! And I'm also fully aware of our current situation. But now that the great Blonde Rex is here, you can rest assured! It easily has enough power to move a moon or two! Hey, is this Archangel all right? Y yes I I'm sure she is. I think. I thought Celestia was going broke because of the increase in evil doings by all the humans. I yes that's right. I'm afraid to ask, but... Excuse me, Lady Flan. Did you put all the money I collected into paying for that thing? Yes, of course! Everything! All of it has gone into Great Flanzor X! <laughs> Lady Archangel Flan, you're... What about all my hard work? Great Flanzor X was only able to be completed thanks to your devotion and money-grabbing spirit. Thank you! You did a great job, Artina! Art! T? Hmm? Uh? Uh, uh, uh. Artina? Lady Flan, I asked you not to reveal my name during my mission! Huh? You did? Yes! Especially at a time like this! You've made everything much more complicated now! Miss Artina? Mr. Valsey's first love? Miss Artina? She's not my first love! See? Told you so! But seriously, just like that? That wasn't nearly as dramatic as I was hoping it would be. This is bad! Oh, and I kept it a secret for so long! So that this money-hungry thief angel is really Artina? Women are so freaking scary. I was doing everything for my mission. It's not because I wanted to. Ah, uh, damn it, Lady Archangel! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong with you? Did you say Artina? Don't you dare say her name, you filthy maggots. Are you saying that Nurse Artina is here? Possible. I wasn't wrong. Oh, I get it now. You demons are just trying to confuse me, aren't you? Sucks to be you. I'm not gonna fall for it. Huh? What was that all about? Um, did I do something bad? Speaking of which, hey, you, Archangel Flaw! You said you could easily move a moon or two, right? I don't care if it's the power of love or whatever, just do it now! Um, well, Great Flan's Rex is working on it right now, but it doesn't seem like it's getting enough power. What did you just say? You made such a big deal about how powerful it was, and now you're using lack of power as an excuse? It should be super easy if it was able to use its full power, but there just doesn't seem to be enough awe energy around here. Awe energy? You mean the power source for angels? That robot uses the same energy too? That's correct! If we were able to collect awe energy from around the world, this would be very easy. But it seems like the people of Earth have lost all of their faith in Celestia. Damn it, humans! Must be aware of this situation by now, yet their hearts remain rotten! So this is how much the humans have been corrupted. What? Why are you looking at me? We have no choice. We must pray to... Pray? To God and the angels? Are you joking? We're demons for crying out loud! This is no joke! I'll do anything to keep my promise. Uh, what? As an aspiring final boss, Desco isn't sure about praying to God and the angels either. My lord, you are absolutely right about this. We must stop the moon from falling no matter what. However, I can't possibly watch you pray, my lord. Then what would you suggest? 
The main alien force should be at the far end of this area. If we can use their technology, we might be able to... It sounds a bit risky. You're the one who wants this the most out of all of us. If you insist on that... Lady Archangel, what am I to do? I will wait for you here with Great Blondzorex. I believe in you! You're entitled to do anything your heart desires. Uh, Lady Flan? Forget about me or your place as an angel. What is the most important thing for you to do right now? Just listen to your heart and do whatever it tells you, Artina. I will support you entirely, no matter what kind of decision you make. Lady Flan, thank you so much. Don't worry about it, Artina. I know what's really going on here. <laughs> That's why I respect you, Lady Flan. Go on ahead, Artina. You need to save the moon and Earth if you're going to save him, too. Yes, Lady Archangel. <laughs>